Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install a range hood over a basement wood stove or pellet stove. And that's gonna allow you to capture that warm air and send it up to the first floor living space. Unfortunately, I can't claim credit for this idea. I was over at a friend's house last winter and he had this set up and I liked it so much I asked my parents if they'd be interested in me putting a range hood above their wood stove in their basement. So as you can see here, you can spend quite a bit of money on a new range hood. Uh, we were able to get this one on Marketplace for 100 bucks. It just had a little bit of a ding on the underside. Uh, it was still new in the box. It just must have gotten damaged during shipping or something. As you're looking around on Marketplace, the top two squares here are gonna be your two biggest factors. Um, and the first is you need to make sure that the unit you buy is able to vent and not just one that recirculates the air back into the room. And then the second is the CFM is a measure of the suction power of the range hood. Um, this one is 375. I don't think you need to go any higher than that, but I probably wouldn't go down into the 100 or low 200 range either. So here's the process. I started off by getting a measurement from the basement wall to the middle of the wood stove. And then I went upstairs and got that same measurement from the wall, which gave me a pretty good idea of where the vent was going to be going. Just to confirm that, I drilled a tiny hole in the grout line between the tiles and saw where it popped down into the basement. And then I adjusted the location of the register about um, three inches or so. Next, I took the register and I put it on the floor and used a paint stick as a bit of a spacer around it to make sure that after my final cut was made that I would have room for both the register and the ductwork which would go around it. And as you can see here, this was a pretty beastly cut. I had to get down through a layer of tile, backer board, a layer of plywood, and then the actual tongue and groove subfloor there. So that was probably the most difficult part of this whole job. And then I just dry fit this vent in there just to make sure that it fit. After that, I took the vent back out. And what you're gonna wanna do is find the center of that hole that you cut and drop down, even if you don't have a plumb bob, Anything heavy on a line you'll, will give you a good sense of where the center is in relation to the center of the, the range hood below. In this shot, you can see two lighter pieces of wood which run perpendicular to the joists. And that gave me a little bit of wiggle room um, front to back and also side to side as I was trying to line up this range hood with the vent hole above. Once the range hood was in place then, I just had to cut my ductwork to the correct length and use high heat tape to secure it to both the register and the range hood itself. And that's that. I'll leave you with this shot. This should give you a pretty good idea of what 375 cubic feet per minute looks like coming through a floor register from the wood stove. I'm real happy with how this project turned out. Please let me know if you have any questions and if this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.